What's up guys, Sonny the Badger here, and today's episode has nothing to do with Harley Davidson Fat Boys. It has everything to do with Harley Davidson V-Rods. So as most of you know, I bought a V-Rod a little over a year ago, and the only issue I've had with this bike at all is an oil leak from a grommet uh, for the stator. And so I've tried to fix it multiple times, but this fix is the one that actually worked. So, um, I actually did this a few months back. Uh, since then, we have ridden it 5,000 miles. Uh, it has not leaked a drip. So uh, I'm confident in saying that this fix actually fixed the entire thing. So um, watch this video to learn how I did it. All right, guys, so real quick before I turn you over to the actual video, if you like videos like this, do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It helps our channel out and it's completely free. You can also ring the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time we upload a new video and uh, leave us your comments. I do try to answer them all. And remember guys, it's not about the destination. It's all about the ride. See ya. What's up guys, Sonny the Badger here today in the Badger's Den. Um, and uh, most of you that follow me know that about a year, a little over a year ago, I bought this V-Rod for 1500 bucks. How do you not buy that? And Baby Badger has kind of taken it over. She's the one that rides it the most. Um, but in the year, um, the bike has been fantastic, except for one thing. It has developed an oil leak um, through the grommet of the stator. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in just a minute. But anyway, um, I have tried twice to seal this thing up. I have tried um, using silicone and filling it up around the grommet. And like I said, I'll show you this here in a minute. Um, that worked better, you know, kind of slowed the leak, but it did not stop the leak. So today I'm going to take it all back apart again, and I'm going to try to run some O-rings in there and see if that'll stop the leak. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to buy a new stator when I don't need a new stator. I just need the oil leak to stop. So um, I thought I'd share this with you guys. Let's get it apart and uh, take a look at it. I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the leak goes. All right, guys. So as far as the leak goes, this is what I'm talking about. This right here has developed a leak around it. It'll leak and it'll drip down there. And uh, it's driving me insane. So we're going to pull it all apart. We're going to see if we can't put some O-rings on it and see if we can't get it to uh, stop leaking. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I got it all apart. The cover's off. Pretty simple to get to. Pretty easy. You can see all the big bead of silicone here from my last attempt to fix it. Um, and that did not fix it. So um, I'm going to pull this out because this right here is what's leaking. And I'm going to try to put some O-rings around that and then put it back together. So let's get it apart and see what we're looking at. All right, so I got the grommet pulled out. As you can see here, I pulled off all the silicone, but it looks like there are actually three grooves in this. It's like they designed it to have O-rings on it and then they forgot to put O-rings on it. So I'm gonna put O-rings in those three grooves and maybe a little silicone on it and see if I can't seal it up. So I've gotta get the O-rings on there. So I'm gonna have to take this apart um, pretty simple to take apart. There's a little back cover here. You take that off the back and then in the front um, you go below this with something sharp and pointy. I personally am just going to use a pick like this. Um, pull those apart and then uh, slide over the o-rings and then put it all back together and we'll see if it works. All right guys, so I got three o-rings on it now. And uh, I just took the end connector off, like I said, slid the O-rings up, put them on there. I'm gonna put a little silicone on it just in case, cause I don't wanna take this damn thing apart again. And uh, we're gonna slide it back through there and put it all back together. And uh, we'll see if it works. Stay tuned. All right, I got it all put back together with the O-rings. And as I said, I did put a little silicone on there just to be safe. Um, so I don't have to take it back apart. Uh, put the connector back together and we're ready to just uh, bolt the cover back on pretty simple pretty easy fix um, if it works I will publish this video a few weeks after I've done the job just to make sure that it works and uh, then I can give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down 